Hi everyone, my name is John, and today I'm here to show you Sophos Central Email and why this is the perfect fit for securing your email regardless of where your email server is located. Kicking things off, I think most people these days are aware of the potential threats the network faces from an email attack, be that phishing emails or malware. We have tons of statistics to back this up, I wanted to share just two of these with you. First of all, 53% of organisations experienced a phishing attack in 2018. And second of all, five out of 10 organizations see malicious emails as their top security concern. These two figures were from a recent study of over 3,000 IT managers. And I feel this perfectly summarizes the threat landscape that we have before us today. It also confirms that spammers have up their game and are now focusing heavily on targeted phishing attacks, which are notoriously hard to detect and block. In the example below, we have the deployment scenario where an on-premise mail server is used in conjunction with an on-premise exchange server. As we can see, this is well placed to serve the mail filtering needs of the network. If, however, we consider the common scenario where the organization migrates to Office 365, this is no longer such a streamlined process. Mail now bounces on and off and back onto your network. Central email integrates with the mail flow in a different way. Instead of worrying about ongoing maintenance of the traditional filtering platform, we sit in the cloud as a SaaS-based service, bringing with it all of the security features of an on-premise mail filter. Mail is routed to the platform through a simple configuration change to the company MX records. These now point to Sophos rather than your email server. Messages are now scanned before being forwarded on to the end destination. As we see below, this process streamlines the challenges met using an on-premise mail server with a cloud email platform, but also functions just as effectively for an on-premise mail server. When logging into Sophos Central for the first time, the first thing we are going to want to do is configure Central Email to be able to process the email for your domain. Clicking the Set Up Email Security option will take us directly to the screen, allowing us to verify the ownership of the domain and the directions we want to filter the mail traffic. Domain ownership is verified through the addition of a unique DNS TXT record entry. Publishing this value for your domain validates you are the legitimate owner. Once verified, you can proceed to configure Sophos Central email with any domain specific configuration. To take full advantage of the platform, it is recommended that you route both inbound and outbound email via Sophos Central. For the inbound destination, you must specify the IP or fully qualified domain name of your mail server or service. In this case, I'm using Office 365 and will specify my unique FQDN. The outbound gateway settings are configured to establish what servers are allowed to send email from your domain. This is required to prevent central email from acting as an open mail relay. We include a number of default gateway options for the most common SAS email providers. When using central email to filter mail for an on-premise email server or provider that is not listed, you can use the custom gateway option. At this stage, it is important not to rush into redirecting your MX records to Sophos until all of the user's mailboxes have been imported and the rules have been configured. If we jump over to the policies, we can take a quick look at the different security features that Sophos Central has to offer. In recent years, the crook's behaviour has changed from wide-scale mail distributions to far more sophisticated and targeted attacks. For many organisations, phishing emails have therefore quickly become their primary email concern over and above traditional spam emails. Whilst we maintain the expected core anti-spam technologies such as spam, bulk email filtering as well as AV scanning, a large focus of central email is now to detect and prevent attempted phishing attacks. Given the targeted nature of phishing attacks, they are particularly hard for either the end user or email filtering products to detect alone. We therefore aim to both enable and alert the users of the possibility of a phishing attack. This user can then make their own judgment call whether or not this was correctly identified. Whilst not part of central email, Sophos offer an additional product, FishRet, that's also managed through Sophos Central Portal. FishRat aims to educate your users, reducing the chance of them falling victim to a phishing attack. It does this by simultaneously testing your user's ability to catch and report phishing emails through the use of simulated spam campaigns, and also auto-enrolling your users in one or more of the training courses. For more information on this product, please speak to yourself or sales representative. 
The second technology we've introduced within the Software Central email platform are the smart banners. These add a color-coded heading to the top of the email, representing the level of trust for a message's origin. These should be seen as a prompt for the user to think twice before proceeding with the email, allowing them to make their own informed decision on the next steps. Optionally, the users can also use this to quickly add senders to their own personal allow and block lists. The key to successfully detecting a phishing email is to validate whether or not the sender is who they claim to be. We support the industry standard technologies of DMARC, SPF and DKIM. The effectiveness of these technologies relies on the true owner of a web domain maintaining and updating a set of DNS records. Sadly, this is seldom the case, so we've added our own checks that look for anomalies in the email header. Header anomalies looks for emails that claim to be from your own domain but we can see they've originated from an external source. Looking down the list of options, we have the time of click URL protection. Now, what this feature is there to do is provide protection for your users and anyone who receives the email that's passed through the central platform after an email has passed through. The way it does this is by rewriting any URLs within the email and directing them to Sophos. The idea behind this is, if it turns out that URL does point to a malicious location, we can update our definitions and deny access to that when the recipient clicks the link to the email. For URLs that are not categorized as malicious, we'll simply forward on the request to the original destination. Software Soundstorm is our cloud-based sandbox environment and it specifically looks for zero-day threats. Soundstorm only applies to files that are a file format that has the ability to execute, have not triggered an existing malware detection, and have not been seen by Sophos previously. Files that match this criteria are automatically sent to Sophos for behavioral analysis. If malicious behavior is detected, then the message can be blocked. During more advanced phishing campaigns, such as spear phishing, the crooks will target specific members of an organization pretending to be more senior member of staff. These attacks aim to put social pressure on the individual to do something they wouldn't normally do. An example being transfer of a large sum of money to the crooks account. Impersonation protection is a way of flagging to the users when an email claims to come from a large organisation or a VIP within your own organisation. Commonly, these would be users such as the CEO, the managing director, or maybe the head of finance. The default behaviour of this feature leverages the power of the smart balance, but this can be changed to perform any of the other standard actions, such as deleting the email or maybe sending it to quarantine. The VIPs can be controlled through the VIP management's list. Especially for the user Byron, who is the CEO of my company, and I'm going to be adding him in as a VIP. From this point on, any attempts to impersonate Byron will result in an additional flag being added to the top of an email. What we're going to look at now is the data loss prevention functionality. Data loss has always been a major concern for organisations due to the reputational damage and potential fines that come with it. And with the advent of GDPR in 2018 and the recent tidal wave of uh, news articles publicly shaming organisations who have lost customer data is becoming more and more important. Here we can add a rule to scan the outbound messages for any personally identifiable information. We'll do this using one of the Sophos default templates. For data not covered by one of the provided templates, you can add your own keywords or regular expressions. Upon successfully matching one of the CCLs, you'll have a choice of actions that can be applied. In this case, I'm planning to force any email and its attachments to be encrypted on detection of any PII. We'll now take a look at what this looks like from the sender's perspective and the recipient of the email. Here I'll upload an attachment containing a lot of PII information. Essentially, it's a contact list containing a lot of users' uh, phone numbers, contact details, and addresses. Clicking over to the recipient's inbox, we can now see an email from Sophos informing the recipient that they have an encrypted message waiting for them. To ensure the recipient has the best chance of understanding this message, it's provided in nine different languages. The user is now able to set a password that will allow them to access the encrypted message and any subsequent encrypted emails from the same organization. Looking in the sender's inbox, we can now see they've received a notification letting them know that the encrypted message has been collected. In the recipient's inbox, we can now see the email has been delivered with two encrypted attachments. 
one PDF file containing the email body and a link to the secure reply portal, and the second, an Excel document containing the contact list. When attempting to open the contact list, you will notice we are given a password prompt. This is where the recipient can use the password they set earlier to access the content of the file. You will notice that unlike many other encryption products, this uses the native file encryption capabilities offered by the file type rather than using a PDF wrapper. One of the highly sought after features of the central email platform is the user-based quarantine. This is part of the end user self-service portal that offers multiple functions across our email, encryption and mobile platforms. In email, it holds three functions, quarantine management, allow and block lists and the emergency inbox. The quarantine allows the users to manage their own emails that have been sent to the quarantine, taking the burden off the administrator. This can be used in conjunction with the spam digest that can be delivered up to four times a day. Simply clicking upon a quarantined email shows you the content of the message. You can then choose to release or delete that message. Release and allow and delete and block will have the same effect whilst also adding the sender to your allow or block list respectively. The allow and block lists are unique per user. When reviewing the current entries, we can see the block lists now contain the editorial contact address uh, that was added within the quarantine. If this was added by mistake, it's a simple process for the user to remove the contact from the block list. Business continuity is important to all organizations and few services are more important than email. Missing an important message could be the difference between winning or losing that big deal or perhaps life-changing events as part of a legal case. This is why we've added the emergency inbox. This displays 14 days worth of emails that have reached the central email platform, allowing users to read their mail even if the corporate email servers are offline. This brings us to the end. To wrap things up, I'd like to say that I very much hope Sophos Email features in your fight against email born threats. As always, thank you very much for watching and we hope to see you again sometime soon.